glasses are undeniably cool, but they also serve another, and one might argue, more important function, eye protection. It's thought that the earliest so-called sunglasses were made by the Inuits to protect against light reflecting off snow. They use naturally curving caribou horns and carve slits into them to limit the amount of sunlight that reaches the eyes. But our bodies also have inbuilt mechanisms to restrict the amount of light entering our eyes. For example, our eyes are deep set in our skulls, they're well shielded by our brows and eyelashes, and our eyes can also blink and squint to restrict the light entering the eye. So too much light is clearly a problem, but why? If you look at the light spectrum, it goes from high frequency, high energy light on the one end, to low frequency, low energy light on the other from gamma rays to radio waves. And it's this light from the high frequency end that is dangerous to humans, because photons that carry enough energy are able to break chemical bonds in our bodies, for example, in our DNA. What's even more interesting, and let me quickly turn to Einstein here, is that you cannot build up a bond-breaking charge from absorbing lots of low energy photons. In fact, you have to absorb one photon that has as much energy as the bond it's aiming to break. The light from the sun is in the UV, visible and infrared spectrum. Of these, it's the UV and the high frequency visible light that have enough energy to cause this type of damage. UV light causes DNA damage to our skin and eyes. It also damages collagen fibres, thereby accelerating skin ageing. Although less well understood, high energy visible light, also known as blue light, has also been implicated in damaging the eyes. Studies have shown that it plays a significant role in age-related macular degeneration. This is the gradual loss of vision due to damage in the central region of the eye, known as the macula. So assuming you want to keep your eyes in tip-top condition, then you'll need to get yourself a good pair of sunglasses. Now, unfortunately, not all sunglasses are created equal, and actually, getting the wrong pair of sunglasses could do you more harm than good. The first thing a good pair of sunglasses needs to be able to do is to make it dark enough for comfortable viewing. Now the way sunglasses do this is they place light absorbing particles either inside the glass embedded in them or on the surface and this blocks the sunlight from entering your eye. In fact, some sunglasses even have a tinting factor of over 95%. Tinting can also add colour to your glasses. If you use amber or brown lenses, they block out the blue light, but they can distort colour. So you might want to try grey or green lenses if that's an issue for you. Last but not least, your sunglasses need to have 100% UV protection. This is because without this, your sunglasses are actually going to damage your eyes. But why? Well, the reason is the tint you place on your sunglasses, which makes them darker for you, also causes your pupils to dilate, and this allows more harmful UV rays to enter the back of your eye and cause damage. But let's think about the astronauts who don't have this protective layer. For them, eye protection is like gold dust, and I mean literally gold dust, because on their visors and their sunglasses, there's a thin layer of gold, which acts as a barrier to block away the harmful UV radiation. Mm -hmm. 